Hi, welcome. In this tutorial, we are going to export Sentinel-1 images. The Sentinel-1 images will be used for land cover mapping and uh, modeling. So we will start uh, by searching uh, the location of our test site. So our test site is called uh, Gweru, which is a small city in uh, Zimbabwe. Right. So let's uh, place a marker in the center of the city. Next, uh, we want uh, to add uh, the uh, boundary of uh, the uh, test site. So we are going to the asset assets, and then we are going to search for query boundary, which I've already imported into Google Earth Engine. So if we click import into script, we import our boundary into the script. So let's change the name from table to boundary. Right. Uh, next, uh, we want to add uh, the script that is going to uh, allow us uh, to visualize the Sentinel-1 imagery and also export uh, the images. So I've already created the script. So I'm just going to copy and uh, paste the script. I'm also going to leave uh, the link uh, to download uh, this uh, script. Right, so I'll just explain uh, uh, briefly about the script. Okay. So first uh, we are going to load the collection of uh, Sentinel-1 images. And then we are going to filter uh, by uh, date. So in our case, we want the images to be uh, between January and uh, 31 March. I uh, will also filter by boundary, which is uh, the boundary of the uh, test site that we have loaded here. Then we are also going to filter by the uh, orbit pass properties. In this case, we are we only have uh, ascending uh, orbit uh, images here, right? And then uh, next, we want to select uh, the polarizations that we are going to use. So here we have uh, a VV, which means uh, vertical transmit and vertical receive and also have vh polarization which means a uh, vertical transmit and horizontal receive uh, we can also use the uh, print function here uh, to check uh, the image collection that we have uh, for our test site right uh, next we can also sort uh, the images uh, by the first Okay, the first image acquired, or, or rather the latest uh, image which has been acquired. Uh, then uh, next, uh, we wanted to retrieve and then display the images. So first, uh, we are going to display the images uh, uh, in VV polarization and uh, VH polarization. Then next, uh, we want to display the images as a composite. Uh, RGB. So we are going to take in uh, the VH polarization and the VV polarization as well as the uh, the ratio. So the ratio is uh, between uh, VH and VV. So this is going to help us uh, display the uh, image composite in a uh, full color. Okay. Uh, next, we are going to create uh, the mean and median uh, images uh, for our test site. So see here we are simply going to use uh, the mean function uh, for the VV polarization as well and the mean function for the VH polarization. We are also going to do the same. We use the median function for the VV polarization and the median function for the VH polarization. So following that, 
we are going to uh, export the uh, images uh, that we've created uh, from the mean and median function. So here we have uh, the rain season uh, mean uh, ascending VV. So again here also have uh, the rain season uh, mean ascending VH. And also here we have the rain season median ascending uh, VV. And finally the rain season median ascending VH. Right, so let's uh, run the script. Okay, you can see in the console that now the the image is uh, image collection appears, and uh, here we have uh, the images. Uh, the first one here appearing here is the uh, VH. Uh, we can also visualize the VV uh, polarization. So VH polarization, VH, uh, VV polarization, then VH polarization, and then we have the RGB composite. Right, so next uh, we can uh, go to the task and then we have the images appearing here. So we can simply run and then the uh, export uh, procedure uh, start uh, uh, happening okay right so if you hit run then it will start to export i've already exported this image so i'm not going to run uh, uh, this task so this is going to be saved in a uh, google drive uh, in our case but uh, you can also uh, export uh, the image uh, to your asset folder here google earth engine or you can also export to google uh, cloud storage accounts right so thank you very much uh, for watching this tutorial please uh, subscribe to my channel to get alerts when i have a new tutorial uh, see you in the next uh, tutorial bye